Well, this is actually my first video blog from Uganda, only because my video camera only just turned up with my lost luggage uh, this morning. So what you're seeing just over my left shoulder is the gold catcher. And this is the piece of equipment that we've installed, uh, courtesy of Fairtrade Guernsey and Guernsey Overseed, Overseas Aid. And what they did is they've donated some money, which we've been able to buy this gold, this gold machine and the gold sluice board for the communities here in Uganda. And so they're just setting up for the morning's run. But just in the 24 hours that it's been in place, we've seen an amazing impact and an amazing vibe coming from the communities. One, I've just been told by uh, Josephine Aguti, who's from the Tira Women's Cooperative, that the impact that this is going to have is where they're going to see a huge reduction in child labor in the area. Why? Because a lot of children are employed to just do the, do the panning, and to, and to move the dirt into the pans and just the basic rudimentary shifting earth from point A to point B. This gold catcher takes that and make, means that that piece of work is no longer needed, which is great for reducing child labor in artisanal small scale mining. So the communities here are really happy about that. The other thing it's gonna do is reduce the back breaking work that the women and the men have to do when they're bending over double in pits, in holes in the ground, panning their material out prior to putting through a system, a mercury system. So if you imagine bent over double for eight hours, sluicing out or panning out, you know, one and a half to two kilos worth of material, that that's going to have a massive impact on your back muscles and the back pain that the women talk about is a very real problem. So that's the second health impact just by putting it in. Thirdly, we've all already seen yesterday, we processed some tailings and in tailings that have been processed 10 times, this machine and uh, sluice has produced a gram of gold out of tailings which they thought they'd never get anything else out of. So people here are really, really happy. Um, and the fourth outcome is it's going to mean that all the communities in this area are going to have to start working more collectively, more cooperatively, cooperatively to begin to aggregate the small amounts of production which they have and bring that through into a much bigger amount with a one eye that on the holy grail of getting to an export system. So just just in the 24 hours that it's come in the buzz around here is great people are really liking it they're really really happy they're seeing more product coming out for their work they're seeing their work made easier it's taking children out of mining um and we believe that the impact that it's going to have is going to go way beyond the um the fair trade groups that are involved already so you know thank you to the people of Guernsey, thank you to Fairtrade Guernsey, thank you to Guernsey Overseed Aid Department because the little amount of money which you have put into this, I mean, let's be honest, this little system has only cost $5,000, which for these guys is way beyond their economic reach. For us in the rich affluent West, we can do this. We can do this a hundred times over across East Africa. We can do this a thousand times over across East Africa and the social, economic impact and environmental impact will be huge. So that's it in a nutshell. That's why we do what we do as jewelers and why we do what we do as fair trade campaign groups and why we do what we do as conscientious consumers because our legacy of buying a, a fair trade jewelry product creates this kind of social impact so thank you thank you thank you